Hello, my name is David and I'm going to show you some of the efficiency tips that we quite often suggest to our clients when we're looking at their Sage 50 Accounts 2015 version. When we're reasonably familiar with the program, perhaps when we come into the program we don't need to see this familiar welcome page in front of us and would rather go straight to an area to get on with working. Whilst we can select from the bottom a different area of the program, actually if we choose Tools and options and then the view tab we can then select a few other uh, alternatives here as well so firstly I would turn off dashboards and I'll turn off process maps and you'll see this will then change our default view in the different areas to being the list of customers or a list of suppliers when we go into those and also turn off the welcome page and select a different area to go to when I first come into the program, perhaps bank accounts. So by clicking OK on that, the next time I start the program, I'll go straight to the bank accounts area with a list of those accounts. And furthermore, if I went to suppliers, I'm faced simply with a list of suppliers rather than the dashboard. Another thing to look at is just tidying up the columns across the top here, which can be done simply by right clicking and deciding which fields we want to want to see in that area. The same applies when we go into perhaps doing invoices that many of us will see lots of different columns here and in fact if we have a relatively simple setup then we may not need to have departments and project references and so on. So right clicking enables us to deselect any of these columns that we don't actually need for our accounting records. So perhaps reducing it to the core information of the supplier account, the date, an invoice reference, the nominal code, details and the financial values. Remember to apply that across to credits as well and you'll find that uh, your data entry can speed up. Just looking back to the batch invoice, if we were to be putting an entry in here and selecting a date with a reference number, a nominal code and putting in some details in there. If we have multiple rows, one of the most useful shortcut keys is the F6 function key which will enable us to repeat entries from the line above. Now if we've got more than one invoice and they're sequential from the same supplier the shift and F6 will actually copy from the line above but increment it by one which again can be incredibly useful. If I just follow that across you'll see that that same shift and F6 works even on dates that it will increment the date by one as we go through. Okay. Another area where tidying up can be very useful is when we're putting through bank payments where again we tend to have a lot of column headings and these can be reduced down to simply those that are necessary. The other things which are useful, I've mentioned the F6 key for um, incrementing, or sorry, repeating from the line above. It's also F7 and F8, which will allow us to insert or delete lines. We get a little bit of a reminder if I go up to the edit button from the very top menu that it does tell us to insert a row is F7, delete a row F8, and the duplicate is F6. So a little bit of a reminder of those particular useful function keys there as well. Another thing I like to see on the bank reconciliation is these last reconciled date and last reconciled balance, which we can bring those in again from the right click in the top menu there, just to ensure that those are displayed, which just gives us a little bit of an idea as to how up to date our accounting records are. I hope you found some of that useful. If you have any comments regarding this video, please leave them in the area below or check out some of our other Sage videos.